Hello everyone. This week I've come down Xingyi District in Taipei City. This is one of the major commercial and shopping districts in the city and I've come to have a walk around here this weekend just to show you that even though there's been a big thing in the news about China and everything uh, encircling Taiwan and doing the drills I wanted to show you that life is still normal here because this area is a shopping area it has a lot of department stores so this is a fancy department store here with all the this one has all the high-end designer gear in that costs more than me monthly monthly wages and then over here there's another department store behind those trees over the road there's a one over there this is Shinkong Mitsugoshi this is like a Japanese department store and these these guys they have a lot of different buildings around here so they each have a different number on the outside so you know which department store each one is let's get over the road so look at all the people crossing the road out shopping I don't think you'd see this many people shopping if people weren't that bothered about what China were doing basically they've had years of China warning them so I feel like they're used to it that's what I think that's my opinion only so if you if you could ever come to Taiwan if anyone ever comes here this area like it is famous but it's famous for shopping it also has a lot of restaurants restaurants and bars and nightclubs around here like a little market but you can you can see how many people are out and about so that's an indication because my mom and my friends back home they've seen all the news in the media back home and I believe this is the first time that the media back home has really had Taiwan in it a lot and because of that I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking what's happening are we safe are China gonna invade what are you gonna do are you are you okay and all those kind of questions and this is just showing you like I think people are okay like let's let's get to the point cut to the chase this is like a little middle square area in the shopping district in Shingy and usually here especially on the weekends they have something like this what I'm standing in now where they're uh, where they're promoting a product so this weekend they're promoting bar beer and this is Japanese beer and when I used to be drinking now I've quit drinking I did used to like bar beer a lot it's it's a good beer it's from Kirin and Kirin seem to have a lot of good beers so down here you get a lot of your international brands so up here look there's H&M so when you go in the department stores they will have a lot of brands that are known around the world so like I was saying really like it's life is just normal here despite what you're seeing in the news really the news now they love to sensationalize everything but I think for people here they're just used to China's like warnings and that here's another little product on show this looks like Xiaomi this one I'm pretty sure it's Xiaomi I think they've just changed the logo 
So if you come down to Shingy District on a weekend, you can expect a lot of this kind of thing, like promotional areas where they're trying to sell you their products. So up there, that is Taipei 101. This is also in the Xingyi district. And in Taipei 101, they have like a fancy department store with all the designer gear. And they also have uh, restaurants and that. And then on the top, obviously they have the view and deck, which is really famous. Uh, this building is newer. Looks a bit like an alien spaceship or some something. So yeah, this area is just mainly like shopping, entertainment. They've got like cinema. The view show cinema is in that one over there. I think in this area somewhere there's like nightclubs in there. Like back in England, it would be weird to have a nightclub in a in a department store. But in Taiwan, like the nightclub in the department store is a thing. <laughs> So there's a lot more bars like this around in Xingyi than I ever remember when I lived close to here where you can sit and have a beer outside and that but if you look it's not really that popular I don't it's just not in the culture here to sit and have a beer people are more interested in going for some food and that because if this was Europe with the weather they have here I think people would enjoy sitting outside having a beer but it's just it's not it's not that common so now I'm gonna walk to Taipei 101 down here they've got food trucks We'll go down here and cross the road properly. I've never seen it happen, but you can get fined for crossing the road where you're not meant to. I've never seen anyone get fined for it, but they do have jaywalking in Taiwan. You do occasionally see signs on the road around. Alright, I'm across the road from Taipei 101, that is it behind us there. I'm going to go over and show you inside, but actually today I don't have time to go to the top. So I'm not going to pay and go in because I don't have time to queue up. But that is 101 behind us, hopefully you can see how big it actually looks. Now I'm standing down on the road next to it, you can't really get a good view from here now I'm inside the department store we're in 101 I'll show you what kind of shops are in here shops that I would never ever buy anything in just because the cost of a t-shirt is more than a month's salary just show you inside because actually pers my personal opinion is that department stores are a little bit bland but it's got, it's got wicked air conditioning. That is a fact.
as far as I'm aware all the shops in here they're like designer shops if you come to Taiwan and you want to go to Taipei 101 you basically have to go through this department store because the platform the lift and the payment area to get to 101 is in this building on one of the floors so there's no way to avoid it I think this is enough for me in the department store like the the really bore us to death so I'm gonna go back down and have a skyway to get back to where I want to go so I'm gonna walk along through that this here says the skyway this means you can basically just walk across the bridge a skyway is just basically like a bridge and you can walk from here back back to the main shopping area over here look this is basically what they call a skyway it's just a bridge linking you back to where you want to go If you come down Xingyi District, you can get a really good view from the Esli Bookstore of Taipei 101. And this side is Esli Bookstore. The coronavirus control look. That is me. The first floor of the bookshop, this part is not 24 hours, but if you go to the third floor, this is 24 hours and it's got, it's got places to sit and read the books. It's even got toilets inside. So I will quickly show you that there's people sitting inside reading. There's the sign there, look, read 24 hours. So this is a book, this is a bookshop like no other. I guarantee it. I just tried to quickly go around the inside of the bookshop and show you what it's like. These apartments here, these are the most expensive in Taiwan and the, apparently it's like eco-friendly building and it's got the trees outside and the, on the balconies and that. And in the middle, it's apparently got like a car lift, so you can you can put your car inside on your floor, I guess. The shape of it is really weird, because the shape looks like it's actually twisting. Right, I'm just going to end the video there. The idea behind this video was just to bring you to Xingyi, because it's a commercial district, and show you that life is still normal here. Everything is going on peacefully and normally as it, you, as it is every other day. No matter what sensationalization has put in the news, life is just normal here. There's not a lot to worry about. So to all my friends and family back home, everything is grand until eventually it's not grand, which I hope will never happen. And I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.